Today, Bitcoin inches above $70,000 for the very first time. The SEC delays a decision on options trading for spot Bitcoin ETFs. And Bobby Zagata of Bitstamp USA reacts to the crypto market's 2024 rally. Welcome to CNBC's Crypto World, I'm Tanea McKeel. Bitcoin hitting another record high today as we head into the weekend. Around 10.30 this morning, the cryptocurrency crossed above $70,000 for the first time, but by noon Eastern, it had come back down to just below $68,000. Ether, meanwhile, crossing the $3,900 mark this morning, while Solana got a boost to $148. We're capping off a huge week for crypto, headlined by Bitcoin's first new all-time high in two years. It's up more than 8% in the past seven days, too. Ethereum still outperforming Bitcoin year to date, and that's also true for the past week. It's up 13% since last Friday. The early advance in Bitcoin may have been driven in part by the latest jobs numbers out today, which showed the unemployment rate ticking up to 3.9%, while employment growth from the past two months were revised down. That economic data could keep the Fed on track to cut interest rates later this year, which would benefit the crypto market. However, it could also be attributed to the return of volatility. The Bitcoin Historical Volatility Index is sitting near its highest level in almost a year. And I also want to mention some good news over on Wall Street, specifically for Coinbase. That company stock getting an upgrade at Goldman Sachs from sell to neutral, thanks to soaring trading volume on the platform. Coinbase shares were boosted 5% intraday following that upgrade. Okay, let's talk about the top stories. U.S. prosecutors reportedly plan to fight Do Kwon's extradition to South Korea. The Department of Justice told Bloomberg on Thursday that, quote, the United States continues to seek Kwan's extradition in accordance with relevant international and bilateral agreements and Montenegrin law. The DOJ's comments to Bloomberg come after a high court in the country approved his extradition to his home country earlier this week. Both South Korea and the U.S. have been seeking his extradition. Do Kwan's lawyers have fought his transfer here to the States, where he faces civil and criminal charges tied to the collapse of Terraform Labs. Next, the SEC just delayed a decision on bringing Bitcoin ETF options to U.S. markets. The agency pushed back its deadline to give a final answer on a SIBO proposal, which would bring options trading tied to spot Bitcoin ETFs recently listed on that exchange. The SEC also pushed back a decision on options for the NASDAQ-listed iShares Bitcoin ETF. Options are contracts that investors use to buy and sell assets at an agreed-upon price and time in the future. Options have an expiration date where the investor has to decide whether to move forward with the transaction, but they aren't required to buy or sell. SIBO told CNBC back in January that it believes options would bring more crypto-curious investors into the ecosystem and help them mitigate risk. All right, back to markets for our main story. With Bitcoin capturing new all-time highs this week, Crypto World's Jordan Smith spoke with Bobby Zagata, the CEO of Bitstamp USA, for his reaction to the recent rally and his outlook for crypto investors going forward. All right, Bobby, yet another all-time high for Bitcoin today, crossing $70,000 for the very first time. What's your reaction to this week, these new all-time highs that we've been seeing, and just how quickly Bitcoin climbed this year uh, after last year's lows? Talk about your reaction to all of this. Well, well, I'm uh, I'm thrilled. Obviously, so many of us have been uh, living in a very different environment for the last 18 or so months, and I think this is validating for a number of reasons. Um, you know, we we've, we've put some of the negative events of the past, some of the the bad players in the space uh, have gone by the wayside, and with the ETF approval, of course, you know, there's real credibility for for what's going on, and and we're seeing that play out. I think I think it was going to take some time for for the inflows for the ETF um, products to matriculate into the into the system and into people's psyches, and that's that's what's happening now, which is extremely exciting. Yeah, a lot's been said about the ETFs and their role in this rally. Lots has been lots has been said about the having coming up for Bitcoin and, and what that means for price. Are those the big factors here? Is there and is there nothing but good news to look forward to for Bitcoin this year? What are you watching out for, and what's driving this rally? Yeah, I think there are a couple of other factors, you know, um, as has been reported, there's, there's also some optimism in the tech space in general. Um, and that usually correlates or usually supports, I think, um, positive price movement in the crypto markets. Uh, you know, we are tech companies uh, at, at full stop. And so that's an important factor to consider. You know, the macro environment um, is always a factor as well. But I think the primary ones 
our, our awareness and optimism driven by ETF approval, price action, and this having um, this having event does create more and more awareness. And it reminds people about uh, the scarcity model built into the Bitcoin protocol. And that creates, you know, interest and, and, and uh, participation. You know, Bitstamp, we're trying to be as welcoming as we can be for, um, you know, for OG participants as well as new, new market participants who are just trying to um, get their feet wet. Yeah, you, you mentioned the correlation between tech stocks and, and the crypto market. And I feel like maybe a year ago or so, everybody was talking about waiting for this decoupling between, you know, tech stocks, the NASDAQ and, and crypto. Uh, do you see that correlation coming back, coming more into focus as we're seeing this rally? Do you see a situation where we, we, we move away from this correlation? What is the relation between crypto and tech right now uh, as a trend? Yeah, it's a great question. And certainly kind of early indicators right now shows this correlation or, or at least supports that idea. But it is difficult when you look further out and you think about all of the dynamics um, around particularly the large tech companies, uh, you know, that they could pull apart again or, or the correlation could could falter. So so it's difficult. But I think the, the bedrock concept here is innovative technologies you know, people recognize the importance of them in the world with blockchain. I don't think there's any debate anymore about the importance of it and the role that it could play in in financial services, but but even more broadly in kind of, um, you know, how we operate so, as a society. Mm. You know, earlier this week, we were talking to experts who were warning that Bitcoin could see a bit of a pullback after this strong week we've had. Um, some are even saying as low as the forty two thousand dollar range. Is that something you're watching out for? Do you expect a pullback to be that extreme? I mean, that's that's a forty percent pullback. What are your expectations there? Yeah, it's it's. I, I try never to predict what's going to happen, but I certainly would not be surprised if there was a little bit of a pullback before the having. Right. So so I think there's some optimism built in already. Um, and I think that's going to have to play out over a few weeks. And, um, and, and so I expect some price movement. I don't expect a 40 percent um, decline. Um, but, but again, I'm really not qualified to give investment advice. Yeah. Um, can I also ask about altcoins and, and maybe particular Ethereum? It's, it's been a strong performer this year. Um, you have the Denkin upgrade happening next week. Um, you talked a little bit about the optimism for Bitcoin. What about the optimism for Ethereum this year? What are the things that are driving excitement there? Yeah, yeah, it's a great question. And, and I'm personally really excited to see the resilience um, of Ethereum through all of this Bitcoin ETF driven um, cycle. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's not like it's fallen by the wayside by, by any stretch. Um, and, and I believe there's the possibility out there of, of um, ETH, you know, ETFs, and 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 then that could perhaps um, you know really support that asset in a, in a in a new way or at a new level. Um, and there's others as well. Solana uh, you know has really done well on Bitstamp. It's it's about it's doubled its share, if you will, of of um, volume on Bitstamp uh, versus others. And so uh, so yeah, I'm very bullish on um, um, obviously Bitcoin, but the non-Bitcoin majors are also getting some um, some recognition and. And resilience, I think, in the face of all of this Bitcoin news. You led me right into asking about Bitstamp in particular. And how is this rally translating to your business? What are you seeing on your platform as crypto interest seems to be picking up again as we've seen this momentum in the market? Sure, sure. You know, as an exchange, uh, you know, we reflect the market to a pretty great degree. And so we're seeing, um, you know, increases across all the metrics that we care about. So our volume is up dramatically on the retail side, um, almost 3x what it was a year ago um, on, the, on the institutional side, about 2x. Um, and, uh, and, and also onboards uh, is increasing um, pre, you know, in, in kind of a double digit percentage way um, on both the institutional side and the retail side. And so that's super positive. And, um, and you know, I think Bitstamp is becoming um, a bit more of an obvious choice than it was in the last rally uh, when people were distracted, perhaps by FTX and, and and other players in the market who didn't have the the compliance and regulatory kind of commitment and track record that Bitstamp has. So, so particularly with newer market entrants, both institutions and retail players, you know, they care more 
I think in this next wave of adoption about who they're partnered with, and they want to make sure that they're partnered with the folks that they don't have to worry about. Um, they, they want the, uh, the interest in the drama to come from the prices, not from the, their exchange partner. Okay, that's all for Crypto World this week. We'll be back again on Monday, and we'll see you then.